YouTube. Today we find ourselves about 15 minutes from the Denver airport. If you've been here, it's pretty flat and you can see forever. But today we are at the Gaylord Resort in Denver. Behind me, it's massive, gorgeous, newly constructed in 2018, and we have been staying here for the last couple days. So today, we get to take you through the inside, the outside, the mile-long list of activities, the amenities, luxuriousness, uh, as well as the indoor-outdoor year-round pool. Cannot be missed. So. Let's take a closer Welcome look. Welcome to our channel. This is Mitch Alico. I'm Ella, coming at you from Denver, like I just mentioned. Today I'm gonna to tour you through the Gaylord Resort. It's almost like a mini city. We flew in from Denver Airport. It's only about 15 minutes away. We're gonna make our way into the lobby. It is stunning. I cannot wait for you to see it. Come on. It's a little slower than I thought. Anyways, this is Mitch Alico. We give you the five-star uh, reviews for resorts luxury cruises, as well as echoey chambers and doorways, and uh, worldwide traveling all the time, so make sure you like and subscribe. But welcome to the lobby. This is the Mitch of Mitch Ellico, not the better looking half, but one of the halves. We are again in this amazing, huge conference hotel. Up to my left hand side, there's gonna be 500, that's a lot, 500 square feet of conference space off the left hand side. If you're not here for a conference, you probably won't go over there. On the right hand side and kind of up above us is going to be the hotel rooms. And I heard that there's over 1,400 of them and 150 suites, which everyone likes a suite. And then right behind me, this is insane. There's a working train set. You know, if you put a big Christmas tree right here, you can be a big kid in here. <laughs> it's like having the one that goes around your Christmas tree, but a real life version. I think it's actually right over there. That's the train. And then through the glass behind me is a beautiful cityscape of Denver. How amazing is that? You can actually see downtown Denver, and this is squared perfectly with it. And then also, right next down below, you have two restaurants and a bar. So there's a lot of awesome eateries inside. There's a market in here and an indoor pool and outdoor pool, which we're going to check out soon. Can you tell what time of year it is? There is Halloween decoration everywhere. We just had the first day of fall. It's official. And the cool thing about this resort is that you can bring your kids not only for the water park, but there are seasonal activities. And there's a huge list as you walk into the resort. I think you can even buy a membership to go to these activities. And we were seeing in some of the commercials in our hotel room, um, ice sculpting and uh, inner tube slides, but like with fake snow. There's just a lot of cool stuff here. Obviously it's fall. This is the train track that we were just talking about. It actually has tracks built into the ground that you can go across and back. Then we have the water features throughout and all the restaurants. Just like Mitch just mentioned, we have Italian food over here, Asian food over there. There's a steakhouse in the far corner, bar, a sports grill over there that is massive and you can overlook it. Um, stores and a marketplace for little snacks here and there. A lot of local eatery food that is here from Denver. I love the theme of it all, but we wanna take you around to each one so you just get a feel of it and then we'll make our way back up the stairs. This is the Italian food spot. Now we haven't eaten any of the restaurants yet, but we hear fabulous things throughout. You can take a sneak peek inside. It's beautiful, ambiance for days, but let's make it to the next one. Like I said, we have three along this, um, the Italian. Now we're at the Asian infusion. We're gonna take a walk inside. I feel like there's sushi here. I just don't <laughs> know how much the average roll is. I should take a look at the menu. But the ambiance, you can just feel it. It gets a little dimmer with some nice music in the background and all this seating. It's pretty empty right now. I think this is more of a dinner eatery. On to the steakhouse. I love steak. You know, it's me. I'm, I'm Mr. Beefcake. I <laughs> uh, haven't been here yet, but this is pretty cool. Look at this old hickory steakhouse. 
established in 1977. That's not that old. That doesn't sound that cool. This hotel again was built in 2018, I believe. So it must have been a restaurant from another one that they carried in here. Again, it goes the Italian, then it goes, you can see right here the Japanese, and then followed right by the steakhouse. But if you come this way and follow me back, this is crazy. This is all like right off the entrance. You come down Escalades and this is all enclosed. So you can imagine there being a snowstorm and a bunch of snow outside and you come into this awesome area, it would feel amazing. It's just really cool because it's all inside. Uh, again, here's a water feature right here, followed by an amazing looking bar right inside. So there's restaurants inside of restaurants inside of a bar. <laughs> so that, it's a pretty crazy experience. Um, I can see that people come here. It's gonna be good for kids, adults, everything. And it's cool because it's almost like a cruise ship. You can come down here, have your meals, and then just go back up to your room. You don't need to get in a car or drive anywhere. It's really nice and a beautiful view, again, of Denver out back. Guys, have you ever been in a Cabela's? Because that's exactly what it feels <laughs> like here. The inside is extremely outdoors and it makes it feel year round. Just like Mitch said, if it was snowing outside, a huge snowstorm, or it was 100 degrees, you'd be perfectly content inside watching everything go and happen outside with how big the windows are. But it's just amazing just walking through so many Instagrammable spots. Welcome to Mountain Pass, where you can watch all the sports, eat all the french fries to your heart content. It is massive in here. It actually reminds me of when you're in a um, sports stadium and the lower part and you can order food and they come out to the tables and it's really big about, you know, talking to your neighbor and looking at all the TVs. This is the lower level. We just came from the terrarium uh, and we're going to wander through big, big screens. Let's take a look. because I feel like they have every single one on the screen that takes up the length of this place. It is crazy in here. the second floor of the bar, you can see more TVs. Just in case you can't get all your friends on the lower level, <laughs> they got a second level. And then if they need some drinks, they got their own bar right here. Check out that. So two, two for one in the bars. We're gonna continue to walk right behind you. It's gonna bring us back into the actual hotel. And there's a cool little marketplace with some shopping. Let's go ahead and walk over that way. pretty cool it's really nice I actually love when they have a hotel has these because lower hotels they kind of just have vending machines this is like the ultimate vending machine come on check all those goodies out I mean there's goodies for your heart's desire uh, in addition Ella was saying that when you uh, need room service because this hotel does have room service we actually just stayed at a very nice five-star hotel they didn't have room service kind of bizarre this one does have room service to save five dollars though you can actually order your food walk down here and pick it up or you can just do the room service and they actually bring it to your room service. But look at all these goodies in here. Look at this. A lot of local Colorado stuff, which makes sense. These are all Gabriella's favorite treats. True. So we're gonna go ahead and walk across the street here. It's funny to say that because we're actually in a hotel, <laughs> but it does feel like you're walking across the street. And then there's gonna be a little market in here that you can buy some nice clothing. Souvenirs, everything's already kind of a one-stop shop in your hotel. So let's check out all these goodies inside this Colorado hotel. We've actually made it to the kind of, I think it's the north end of the hotel. This is gonna be again where the convention is, so all the convention things that they're gonna have. So if you come here for a convention, you'll probably spend a lot of time over there. It's nice to walk by the stores on my left and right. There is a Starbucks built into the convention area. That's cool. We're actually gonna go and go to the exciting part, which is gonna be the water slides. And that's just completely on the other side of the hotel. So let's go ahead and head that way. As soon as you check in behind you, you walk this way. This is where our rooms are in these towers. We had an easy time finding the pool in the fitness center, which is very meaningful to us. We spent a lot of mornings there. We're gonna walk you this way. You know it's a, a huge resort when there's escalators, elevators, and stairs, multiple transportation to choose from, but there's a miniature. That's a huge thing. 
were just in San Diego um, at the Dell Hotel in Coronado, and there was another miniature. So I feel like this is the qualification to have a resort, to have a massive recreation of it. And you can see we'll be checking out the water park coming up next. Little white lie. I said that we we're gonna go to the water slides next, but you'll just have to wait a little bit longer. I wanted to show you the spa, which is world class, lots of things to choose from, as well as products and pajamas. On the inside, I scoped it out this morning for you. But the gym, it's behind us. State of the art, as they say. There is a Peloton machines, screens, everything that you need as a workout, and all the windows face towards the water slide. So you can get excited throughout your workout for what's coming up next. Let's take a look at that. Come on, cameraman. So, like I said, Peloton, stair steppers, treadmills, weights. There's even like a miniature trampoline for, um, you know, heavy weighted balls, but there's a lot going in here. Oh, a lot going on in here. <laughs> Okay, so more exciting part, you know, the main reason you'd come here with kids, there's an arcade. <laughs> How cool is that? No Mario Kart, I already looked. I mean, they gotta get Mario Kart. You guys gotta step up your game. <laughs> Behind me is a giant map of the whole hotel. Uh, there are two, right here, indoor slides with an indoor pool. You guys gonna see in a split second. There's gonna be some hot tubs, an outdoor pool open year round. That's amazing. Big barn doors right here. A lazy river and an outdoor uh, slide as well. So lots to do. Amazing. Again, you can see it's connected all together. Here's that train. Let's go ahead and check out the water park. Let's go inside. Finally, we have made it. Okay, Miss just said he took you through the map. There's two indoor slides, hot tubs, heated pools. It's very warm in here. It's very <laughs> muggy. It's like Florida already. You got multiple things going on. But you can see there's giant um, garage doors behind us. So when it does get cold, they can close it off. Let's take a look outside because there's another water slide, um, a massive lazy river. I like massive. Everything here is just big in this hotel. It's oversized. And if you have a cabin or anything that you're trying to decorate with an outdoorsy theme, I would definitely come here and check out the art, the stones, the themes up here and take all the inspiration because it's, it's just gorgeous. Welcome to the Oasis. We've made it outside. I swear it's 90 degrees already. I'm slowly sweating and we just took a step outside. There's the adult zone over there, the lazy river, more pools and hot tubs behind us. Just a lot to be seen. But the coolest part is the main area of the um, water slides and just the exterior construction of this place. Check this out. Kids pool, this is awesome. Little kitty water slide, this is so fun. I don't know if I'd fit, I might try it. You know, I'm pretty big, but we can see it. Uh, they have a lot of yard games, a nice little cabanas. Look at these cabanas right here. $350 a day. You too, don't to spend $350 on a cabana, you're nuts. That being said, come follow me real quick. We're gonna run around the cabanas. I like these, this is called a lazy river. I don't know if you guys have ever done a lazy river, but it's like a river so it flows and you're lazy. You can just sit in it all day, have a drink and float. It feels like you're getting, you're doing something because you're floating around. <laughs> you can have a drink and you can get a tan all at the same time. That's, that's pretty good. That's a lot of things, that's multitasking, right? Lazy river, which is just called the multitasker. <laughs> This hotel has a lot of activities for little ones, seasonal, we mentioned it in the lobby, but also it has so many activities that you can stay active while on vacation. We just came out of the gym, but there's bicycles that me and Mitch already took for a ride. Like I mentioned before, we just got back. We hijacked them. Yeah, we just got back from San Diego reviewing that hotel. Um, so definitely check that review out. But we were going to rent bikes and they were $35 per person per hour. It was crazy. Not here. Not in San, here in San, in San Diego. This one's in Denver, if you were listening. Um, but these are awesome, perfect. We also have some basketball courts, some pickling courts, and these people did not pack all this stuff with them. You can rent it in the indoor pool area, along with ping pong, and there's even mini golf. You don't have to go anywhere. 
This is a complete mini city. And I wanna take you finally to the best view of the hotel that I scoped out. It's actually in the convention zone, so we're gonna backtrack a little bit, but stay tuned. So you just saw what this hotel is famous for. It's views that stretch all the way to the Rocky Mountains and you can see downtown Denver. It's beautiful. Like I mentioned, this is a great spot. I've been scoping out the hotel. You can tell I've stayed here a while and wandered around, but I love this balcony. There's um, some kind of concert going down around and they're setting up down here and there's construction in the distance. Like we mentioned before, this hotel was constructed in uh, 2018. So there is more that even more that they're still adding on. But that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you liked the breakdown of all the amenities. How much was it per night? The five, the five uh, restaurants. So cost to stay here, I just looked it up online really quick and it was 350 a night, which is not that crazy if you get um, the water park included. So you have a whole family stay here, you have everything, and then you can go hang out by the resort poolside. It's pretty good. How far, how far away is it from the airport? So uh, it's just like the airport where it's out in the middle of nowhere and you can tell this resort was built to cater to the airport, people flying in, because it is equally a mini city out in the middle of nowhere, definitely a destination about 15 minutes away. Would, so. you, would you recommend staying here and then uh, one out of five, what would you give it? I would give it a four and a half. Only Pretty because uh, if you wanted to go see downtown, it's about 45 minutes away. So like I said, it's built in the middle of nowhere. That's an expensive Uber if you're mm. in town or you need to go pick up your rental. It's pretty close to the airport, but still, it's pretty far away from anything else. But you have all your needs met if you just want to get away and stay in one place. Highly recommend it, definitely recommend our youtube video too and where are we uh, going next we are on our way to greece next thank you so much for watching check out our next videos coming up in the next couple weeks we'll link them and we will link them down below <laughs> thank you so much Bye bye